Okay, let's talk about a pretty cool way to add positive and negative numbers. Now, um, what I'm going to show you basically is a visual model of what's going on when we're dealing with positive and negative numbers, specifically when we add or subtract them. So if you've been confused about um, adding positive and negative numbers, you're definitely not alone. This is one of these areas in mathematics where people start learning um, the rules for what we call integers and positive and negative numbers, you know, people get confused. The rules are not that difficult, but what ends up happening is a lot of people confuse them. And uh, what we want to do is avoid that. So when you do these problems, all you end up with is a happy face. You're like, yep, I got that. Because nothing's more frustrated to do a problem and then do it wrong and then look at, you know, if you're taking a quiz or a test and you're like, boy, I knew that. Why did I do that? And that happens to um, everyone. It even happens to myself. When you're doing a lot of math, you can make an error. That's why focusing is so critically important. But uh, if you've been struggling with this topic, um, I think this little visual model here will uh, possibly kind of uh, help you out. Okay. And of course, I am going to emphasize uh, the rule or another way to think about uh, the rule for um, adding positive and negative numbers. So we're going to go over that as well. But uh, first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I am the founder of Tabla Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher, and over several years I've constructed what I like to believe is one of the best online math help program uh, programs there is. Now, of course, I'll let you be the judge of that. If you're interested, you can check out my math help program by following the link in the description of this video. But basically what I have is 100 plus different math courses. Um, my most basic course right now is pre-algebra. Now, I do teach uh, this concept in my pre-algebra class and other classes as well. Uh, we talk about what we call the real number system and a part of the real number system is these positive and negative numbers. So uh, if you're like at the maybe the sixth, seventh grade level or for, you know, you're kind of doing like an introductory algebra course, my pre-algebra course would be excellent uh, for you. But um, I offer uh, many more courses beyond that, uh, Algebra 2, Geometry. I'm going to be launching pre-calculus here soon. But I have a lot of specialty courses uh, to get ready for particular type of exams that you might be taking. Um, out there. So, for example, like the GED, SAT, ACT, GRE, GMAT, ASVAB, you kind of get it, teacher certification exam. So, if you're taking one of these exams, you're, you know, you're very likely going to be studying the math uh, for that exam. So, I have a lot of specialty courses that can help you out. Also, do a lot with independent study, like homeschoolers. And then, obviously, if you are taking a class and you're struggling to need more instruction, my program can help you out as well. Now, one thing I must uh, quickly emphasize before we get going into this problem is the importance of taking math notes. This is kind of like my golden rule of math. Over decades of teaching the subject, there's just one thing, this is one correlation, one trend that is just completely apparent, and that is those students who take great math notes almost always end up like this person at the end of the year, very happy with their grade. And the reverse is true. Those people who don't take um, notes at all, or sloppy notes, or maybe rely on their best friend who takes better notes than them, uh, or they're distracted by their cell phone or the person that's talking next to them. Listen, I get it. I was a student once as well. But, uh, you know, note-taking keeps you focused, all right? It's just so critically important. You know, it doesn't make a difference if you watch this video or watch other videos. If you are not taking notes, you're not engaged, you're not focused, and this stuff isn't going to stick, okay? So, you know, if you're going to learn math, let's uh, have you learn it correctly. So improve on your note-taking if you need to improve. But in the meantime, you need something to study from. So I offer detailed, comprehensive math notes to include pre-algebra, Algebra 1, Geometry, Algebra 2, and Trigonometry. So if this is the kind of level of math that you're studying, you might want to check out my pre-algebra uh, notes. Okay, so let's get into this cool way to think about positive and negative numbers and adding them. But uh, before I show you this, and obviously it's going to have to do with this number line, let's just review, okay, what we're dealing with here. So we're dealing with positive and negative numbers, okay, positive and negative numbers. So this is the problem that we're going to be doing here, 2 plus negative 5. So when you're studying this topic in a math class, okay, typically, um, oftentimes they'll show you what I'm going to show you here, some sort of uh, number line rule or model for what's going on. But uh, that's the, what I'm going to show you is not going to be the primary way 
that you want to remember this, okay? Or it's not practical in terms of its application, but it's a good way to kind of think about what's going on when we're adding positive and negative numbers. So you do want to know the rule to add positive and negative numbers. And let's just quickly review this. Now, I have a lot of videos on uh, positive and negative numbers in my pre-algebra playlist on my channel, okay? I have, matter of fact, I have videos with uh, millions of views on this topic. I think my first video, it's like 10 years old, 12 years old, has uh, over a million views uh, on the rules of positive and negative numbers. So that, you know, obviously there's a lot of people out there that are looking for this topic. So you're not alone, okay? If you're, you know, struggling with this, just relax, watch this video, go check out a couple more of the videos and this will be uh, cleared up. All right, but I like to think of money, okay, the concept of money, when we're talking about adding or subtracting positive and negative numbers. So let's just keep it real simple um, uh, with this particular example. Now, if you have a positive amount, okay, like positive two, that means let's say you have like $2, okay? So this is like you have $2. Let's just draw a little stick figure guy. He's like, yay, I'm happy. I got two bucks in my pocket, okay? Now, what does negative five mean to you? If you got a statement, okay, or if you have negative five dollars, what does negative five dollars mean? Well, hopefully most of you out there are like, oh, that means like debt. You're in debt five dollars, and that's exactly right, okay? So uh, let's just kind of see this person's financial condition here, okay? So, and uh, with this idea of money, we'll be able to figure out the answer. So here you have two dollars okay all right but you get a bill okay you get some sort of debt or your best friend comes up to be like hey give me that five dollars uh, you owe me five dollars you need to pay me right now okay so here you have debt all right and here you have money so if you give them your two dollars how what what's your result okay like where, where do you where's your where do you stand financially okay so you're like okay I'll give you my $2, and then what's your best friend going to say? He's going to say, well, you still owe me $3. So you're still $3 in debt, okay? So if you have 2 bucks, but you you owe more than you have, you, the difference there, okay, is still a negative number. So 2 plus a negative 5 is negative 3, okay? So I think this is an easy way to... Uh, understand positive and negative numbers. Now let's do another example here real quick. So let's say you have negative one plus negative six. All right, so what do you think this means? Okay, well, this is, we have $1 debt here. This is a, a dollar you borrow from some person, you know, a few weeks ago, and then your best friend's like, oh, you, you still owe me $6. So you have, you owe to two people. Okay, so what's your total financial condition? Well, $7 in debt. So negative one plus negative six is negative seven. And now let's do one more example. What if I have 10 plus negative four? Now this is a better kind of situation. This is where you have $10, okay, in your pocket. You're like, yeah, I got $10. And then your best friend comes up to you and be like, hey, give me that $4 that I uh, lent you the other day. You're like, okay, you give them back the $4. And how, ma how much do you have left over? Or you're going to have $6, positive 6 left. So when you're adding and subtracting positive and negative numbers, um, using this kind of money model, I think, is, a, is probably the best way for me, of what I've seen for students, to kind of easily remember. But there's another way to look at it. I'm going to show you here in a second. Now, we didn't go into subtraction, um, and I have plenty of videos on how to add and subtract or subtract uh, real numbers or positive and negative numbers. But very quickly, let's say I had 5 uh, minus uh, 7. Okay, 5 minus 7. So what we like to do, or 5, um, the difference between 5 and 7, is we take subtraction uh, problems, yeah, and let me actually erase this here real quick. Five minus seven. Okay, so what we're going to do uh, is take subtraction problems and turn them into addition problems. Okay, we can turn them into addition problems, and we do this thing called like a plus negative. So we take this subtraction sign, all right, we're going to make it into an addition sign, and then this uh, negative sign gets kind of a sign to that number, okay, to the right of it. So this is equivalent to 5 minus 7. It's equivalent to the problem 5 plus negative 7. And then, of course, here, you know, hopefully you can figure this out. Here you have 
your best friends coming up to you and be like, hey, give me that seven dollars you owed me. Like, oh, you give me your five dollars. How much do you have? Well, you still owe two bucks. All right. So five plus negative seven is negative two. Or five minus seven is the same thing as five plus negative seven, which is negative two. Okay. So again, it could be confusing, but we're talking about positive and negative numbers. When we're um, adding and subtracting, the, there's one rule to them, and then multiplication and division is another completely different rule. Okay, and this is actually uh, pretty easy, but uh, make sure you know this stuff. This is, uh, you know, absolutely uh, critical to mathematics. Okay, you got to know this stuff, and you know, hopefully, you know the uh, different ways you have to think about it. You know, whatever is going to click, so you can get the answers right. That's what we're trying to. Uh, uh, you know, get at. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at this cool way to think of adding uh, positive and negative numbers. So here is an example. Okay, so 2 plus negative 5. This is the one uh, we started off with, but we can use a number line. Right? It's a nice visual way to kind of think about it. Now, here is kind of the rules. Okay, so we're going to start with this number here. Okay, it's our starting number. And then this number here to the right, okay, negative numbers, if it's negative, we're going to move left, okay, and if it's positive, we're going to move right, okay, and then where uh, we're going to move left or right these many units, and then after we move that many units, whatever that lands on is the answer. So let me show you an example how this works. So we're going to start with 2, because we're going to figure out what 2 plus negative 5 is. Now, we already know that the answer is negative 3, but let's just see how this works. Okay, so we're going to start here, 2. So this is 1, 2 on the number line. Okay. Now, it's negative, so I'm going to move negative 5 units to the left. So let's just do that. So starting from 2... I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and boom. Where do I land? Well, you just count right here. Here's 0. This is negative 1. That's negative 2. And here's negative 3. So where you land is the answer. Okay, so that's negative 3. And that's just a kind of visual uh, way to look at um, adding and subtracting positive and negative numbers. Let's do uh, another example here. And let me erase all of this. So the problem with this uh, model, okay, and it's not like it's broken or nothing like that, but the um, problem with it is that, you, you know, it's not practical to, like, make a number line to try to figure out some sort of answer. But let's uh, do another one. Let's do negative 1 plus negative 2. Now, before I do it, I want you to kind of use that money model, uh, you know, that money way of thinking about these uh um, this particular problem. So we have negative one plus negative two. So we have negative one dollars of debt and another negative two dollars of debt. So how much total debt do you have? Hopefully uh, you're out there saying negative three. And if you said negative three, definitely give yourself a big smiley face and a plus and a 100% because that shows that you're paying attention. You're listening. You're like, hey, if you could do the, the easy little problems, you're going to be able to handle the more challenging problems. Okay. But let's go ahead and use this rule here. And let me go ahead and get a bigger marker. So negative 1 plus negative 2, we know it's going to be equal to negative 3. So let's find negative 1 first. That's our starting point. Okay. Negative 1. So where's negative 1 located on the real number line? So here's 0. So this is negative 1. That's negative 2, negative 3, and negative 4. You kind of see that. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. So we do have to understand where these values are at on the real number line. So Here's negative 1. That's our starting point. And now I'm going to do what? Well, I'm going to move uh, two units to the left because it's negative. Okay, so starting from negative 1, I'm going to go 1 and 2. So where does that land me? Okay, well, we're, this location is the answer. So let's just make sure we have that. This is negative 1. That's negative 2. That's negative 3. So negative 3 is where uh, we're going to land. Okay, and of course we already knew that that was the answer. All right, let's do another one. Matter of fact, let's leave negative three there. Okay, and let's do uh, maybe negative three plus seven. Okay, so negative three plus seven. So let's uh, uh, first of all let's think about this in terms of money. Okay. Now, what do you think the answer is going to be? 
So you're like negative three dollars in debt. I owe someone three dollars, but I have seven dollars in my pocket. Okay. So after I pay them my that three dollars, I have how much uh, money remaining? And if you said four, then you definitely deserve another smiley face. You're doing excellent. Okay. But let's go and take a look at this model again. So we're going to start at negative three. Okay. Right there. One, negative one, negative two, negative three. And now I have a positive seven. So I'm going to move seven units to the right. So let's see where that lands us. And we're going to start obviously from negative three. So let's see here. One, two, three. Four, five, six, and seven. So right here is our answer. So let's just make sure uh, we know what value that is. So here's zero. So this is one, two, three, and four. There's positive four. And it's ex uh, basically exactly the answer that we already knew when we're thinking about our money model. So this is a visual way to kind of see uh, positive and negative numbers. So some of you out there might be like, well, you know, what's the matter with this? You know, like uh, this is an excellent uh, technique. It's a great way to visualize this. But what if I gave you this problem, negative uh, 108.9 uh, plus, you know, um, 22.7 all right well then you know you'd have to have a real long number line and you'd be like trying to work this out so this is not a practical method you'd be way over here then you'd be counting all these diff different things so this is not something that you want to employ as a practical method to add positive and negative numbers but it is a nice cool way to just kind of see visually what's going on um with these integers okay so we kind of use this model and whatever model you know helps this click is what you know is the goal here right so you got to know these rules and if you're still confused about this <clears throat> excuse me um, check out my uh, other videos on positive and negative numbers i have quite a few um, in my pre-algebra and algebra playlist okay so um, but that being said hopefully you know you're like oh okay i learned something that wasn't a waste of time and uh, you're like, oh, pretty happy about that. That was, uh, that was neat. I never saw that. If that's the case, please consider smashing that like button. That definitely helps me out. And if you're new to my YouTube channel, please consider subscribing. Been on YouTube for uh, many, many years. Uh, it's a great place for someone like myself who's obsessed with teaching math. My goal is always to teach it in a clear and understandable manner. Okay, and keep you excited about learning and uh, really emphasize that anyone could be great at math, okay? So if you struggle with math before, that doesn't have to be the case. What you need to do is find someone that uh, you like learning from, okay, that you understand. And if that's me, then that's great, okay? So a couple of recommendations. If you want to continue to learn from me, I have a lot of material on my channel, okay? Basic to advanced math, organized in uh, various playlists. But if you really, really want to uh, kind of get into my best math stuff and then just follow the links in the description of this video okay so with that being said i definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics uh, adventures thank you for your time and have a great day